Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's kind of early in the morning, so I apologize for not having a shirt on, but um, I need to hurry up and do this video. I have an interview later, <clears throat> but politics. Not really an issue I wanted to address because of my lack of knowledge, but um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do it, so I, I guess I might as well go ahead and try and tackle it. I'll kind of do a generalized approach and then I'll leave the room open for discussion and I would really like some response videos to keep this segment going. Otherwise, um, I'm not going to have a lot to say about it. Um, I respond better if people ask me questions. So, um, The first thing, uh, I want to thank Zero Zero Kenny Blue for giving me my first response video. Yeah, first shout out. Um, but one of his um, questions was about the United States government and I made a little note thing so I can stay on track. I'll try to keep this brief. <clears throat> I think the United States government is a joke. Um, this is just my generalized opinion, but how they twist and weave laws to basically suit or meet a standard, um, that's fickle. And There's not a lot to be said about it. Um, we know it happens, but due to us being uninformed as people, governed people, um, there's not a lot we can do about it, even though the people are supposed to have the power in this democracy. <clears throat> um, I don't like how they don't have any respect for the president, regardless whether he's messing things up in office or not. Um, that incident where he was giving a speech, or I don't remember what he was doing, but a dude stood up and called him a liar. Just the audacity of an action like that. Um, it really speaks out as to what kind of government we have and um, the character behind the faces you see. Religion and government. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, religion isn't stable as it already is but to put it into an even more stable thing like government is asinine and that's going to probably be the downfall of our country if not the world all these different religions we can't even choose one um, and I think that's a leading factor to why people are intolerant of like race or gender or sex because um, religion is very biased and being a predominantly Christian based culture um, that's just the facts of it they condemn a lot of things that most people would Try not most people try and tolerate, but things that we should be tolerant of, um, whether it be race, sex, gender, um, whether I can do this or whether I can do that. We're hindered by and shackled down by um, these guidelines that we have to abide to because of a certain religion we're trying to follow, and um, we don't see any forward progression. Um, that's I'm not okay with that. Um, they like to slap down old texts um, that are based off of religious constructs and then deem it appropriate because God said it. Um, who is God? That's a question that you should be able to ask most people and get a solid answer, but a lot of people can't even answer that. And they're Christians or... Um, they're Buddhist or whatever. I mean, they can't. Uh, they they don't fully understand their religion. So how could you try and govern an entire country under something that's so unsound? Um, this is why I don't like labels. Um, if someone asked me what asked me, sorry, Roland. <laughs> if I were a Christian, I would say no. I am simply a follower of God because I don't like the labels that come with it. Um, there's too much negativity and um, 
I don't want to be lumped into the bad parts um, or the good parts. I want to be judged on my own character and not um, something that was already predetermined for me. Uh, I would like to develop a relationship with a God that I know exists by myself. And I'm not going to get into a whole soapbox about religion because that's for your own uh, whatever. Uh, it's early. <laughs> um, the second thing was Barack Obama. Um, one of my points was I wanted to applaud him for not acting like he was a minority in power but seeing um, and this was off of uh, what is this the Washington note dot com um, all of these bills that he's passed and um, these accolades that he's been giving minorities um, basically he's just affirming a form of segregation uh, he's he's keeping us divided by singling out particular um, ethnicities or uh, genders and just imp applauding them for the work that they do. Of course, that's that's great and it's a great way to promote yourself and to promote your values and what you're about. But in the end, that only keeps us divided. Um, that's not a huge issue that we need to be addressing. Um, and I think he should stay more focused on things that matter like... Um, why the hell we're still in Iraq, <laughs> um, Iran, and Afghanistan? Um, but that is a problem that I do have with Barack Obama. Um, and also another thing that he he blames the previous presidents for some of his shortcomings. And as a leader, um, you can't be a good leader if you continue to make excuses. I mean, eventually you're gonna have to wipe your own ass. Um, and it's not like I can encourage him to do that. It's just some, a point that I want to bring up. I don't really have anything to talk about as far as um, what he's done um, currently because I'm not that up to date, and I do know I do know some things, but I don't want to give my little two cents, and then it'd be kind of inaccurate. So what I'm gonna do is just request people to send me videos or post videos on my wall regarding um, a particular question and then I might either do some research on it and then address it or I might um, just address it up front and uh, I'll probably combine two and three videos into one segment but if you want to keep this segment alive then go ahead and do that um, but until then I'm about to get dressed and go uh, to this interview and I'm gonna get it in so love you guys love us out